Hello, I'm Lee Emke, President and CEO of the Houston Zoo. In just a few short months, we're going to be celebrating the 100th anniversary of the zoo by opening an extraordinary new exhibit, the Galapagos Islands. The first major living exhibit to showcase the legendary island chain, the Houston Zoo's Galapagos Islands, will immerse guests in environments that evoke the archipelago's landscapes and oceanic habitats, and it will tell the story of how we are working to protect it. No place on Earth better exemplifies the wonders of wildlife, the delicate balance of ecosystems, or the pressing need for conservation action than the Galapagos. Lava tunnels occur naturally throughout many of the Galapagos Islands. And over time, waves have carved out sea caves along the coasts of many of the older islands. Hi, I'm Sarah. Today we're exploring the ocean waters surrounding the Galapagos Islands. We'll learn how all of our oceans are one big ocean that need our protection. After getting eye to eye with a Galapagos tortoise or nose to nose with a blue iguana, guests return to the ocean shore, descending into a wave sculpted sea cave with split level views of sea lions swimming into the cave or resting on shaded ledges just above the waterline. Colorful Sally Lightfoot crabs are visible in a nearby opening in the rocks, scuttling about in the splashing waves. Moving deeper underwater, guests emerge into a 40-foot long acrylic tunnel, surrounded by sea lions swimming on both sides and overhead. After hours, these unique spaces can be transformed into magical venues for dinners and other gatherings in air-conditioned comfort. Turning a corner, guests move to a large chamber where a 40-foot span of clear acrylic reveals the breathtaking One Ocean Aquarium, appearing to extend indefinitely to the open ocean beyond. The unique coral reef structures of the Galapagos Reef and a tumble of volcanic boulders provide niches within the 190,000 gallon habitat where sea turtles, sharks, rays, and other fish swim and take shelter. From threadfin and raccoon butterfly fish to king angelfish and convict surgeon fish, neon blues and yellows make a stunning impact. The guinea fowl puffer is a solitary fish, covered in short spines and can inflate itself several times its normal size as a defense against predators. Among the most anticipated residents of this habitat are sea turtles. The One Ocean Aquarium will showcase green sea turtles, including injured individuals that have been rescued and are undergoing treatment by the zoo's aquarium and veterinary experts. The Houston Zoo has operated a sea turtle rescue, rehabilitation, and release program for more than 30 years. However, this is the first time in our 100-year history we will be able to highlight sea turtles in a large, multidimensional habitat. Sea turtles around the world, including in the Galapagos, face threats from ingesting plastic trash and entanglement in discarded fishing gear. In our region, there are five species of sea turtle found in the Gulf of Mexico, all of which are either threatened or endangered. They include the Kemp's Ridley, Green, Leatherback, Atlantic hawksbill and loggerhead sea turtles. Sea turtle populations in the Gulf are slowly recovering thanks to the collaborative efforts of state and federal government agencies, scientists, nonprofits, universities, grassroots organizations, and many dedicated volunteers. Thank you for joining us on this glimpse behind our construction fence. We can't wait to welcome you to our Galapagos Islands exhibit in 2023. To learn more or to contribute to the campaign, please visit HoustonZoo.org.